Hi, I'm Doug Pat, and this is Drafting Tools 101, where we take a look at many of the tools I use when drawing and drafting. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the drawing compass. When sketching, you just want to get your ideas down quickly, and they can be loose. When drafting, your drawings need precision. Drafting tools are just the thing to help you achieve that. The compass is a technical drawing instrument used to create circles and arcs. Most compasses are made of metal or a high-impact plastic. They consist of two arms connected by a hinge, which can be adjusted to change the radius of the circle or arc being drawn. The leg with the pointer end acts as the anchor, while the other leg has a lead for marking. Along with the two legs, most compasses have a handle and a hinge that allows the legs to pivot. They also have a locking wheel to adjust or replace the lead. Professional compasses also feature a spindle with an adjustment wheel, so you can really dial in a measurement. Others feature brake legs that allow the compass to be set straight down, so it's easy to use and accurate. Some compass sets can include accessories like a beam arm. This extends your capability. To use a compass, first determine the diameter you want to draw by using a ruler or a scale. Your circle can be made bigger or smaller by moving the legs further apart or closer together. The best spot to control the compass is the handle. Before you start moving the compass, think about how long you want the line to be drawn. Now, press the anchor into the paper. Lean the compass in the direction you're drawing. Keep pressure in the middle to keep the compass grounded. If the pointer comes up, you'll need to reset the compass. Lead points can be sharpened with a miniature lead pointer or sandpaper. Compasses come in a variety of styles and sizes and are a staple in any drafting toolbox. Using a compass can be a challenge when you get started, so don't get discouraged. It's the perfect tool for drawing the perfect circle. So thanks for watching and join us next time when we take another look at the wonderful world of drawing tools.